had uh, meetings this morning and watched the film with the players from Saturday. And um, they're at school right now, and then we have meetings this evening to start on Cal. And as a staff, we've been looking at Cal and preparing our game plan for them. And, uh, you know, they're a team that's very dangerous. They do a lot of things offensively. They give you problems, um, a lot of different things you have to prepare for. Um, they've always played good defense because they've always had a really good defensive line. So, uh, you know, going on the road two weeks in a row, that's a challenge. So we just got to focus this week on having a good week of practice and preparing the best we can and, and hopefully uh, improve on some of the things that we need to improve on uh, from last Saturday night's game and, and go out and have a good performance. You, uh, you mentioned you have know, a very dangerous offense and everything. What have you seen that, that maybe just they can't get over the hump with all these weapons? Um, I don't know. I think it's just different things. Uh, when you look at a team, and you're preparing for a team, you don't necessarily look at it that way. You know, you're kind of you're studying schemes and you're studying things that will give your, you know, specific to their offense, give your defense problems. So uh, that's, you know, we don't break down the psychology of it really. We break down the scheme of it and try to prepare for that. Well, I just didn't know that maybe you saw that yeah. there was a consistency no, issue or No, not really. It's hard. It's just, it's hard to look at it that way. It's important that we look at it, you know, relative to what we're going to face schematically. To take the psychology of it out. What's what is dangerous about that? Well, they do a lot of different. They make you prepare for a lot. They do a lot of different things, and so you have limited preparation time, and so you really have to budget your time effectively, especially defensively. And uh, a lot of times, when you face a team like Cal, it gives you a lot of different looks. It's really important that you go back to basics on defense and take care of your own shot. I think sometimes you can get in, into trouble if you try to find an answer for every single thing that they do. And sometimes when you do that, you come up with no answers. So you have to really be guarded against doing that. And that's a coaching issue. That's not a playing issue. That's a coaching issue. You guys are 2-0 on the road now. Uh, you know, how important is that for the confidence of the team and what's kind of been the, the key to success on the road? I think it's, it's really important for the confidence. I think when you go on the road and get a win, it really boosts your confidence. Um, the key, I, I believe, has been our players have just focused on the game, not the environment, not the plane trip, not the hotel. Uh, we have a routine, whether we're at home or on the road, that starts Friday morning, and we just stick to it. And our players have been mature enough to avoid the distractions that could potentially be there for them. And I credit them for that. It's uh, it's been impressive, but we need to continue doing it because we still have some road games to go. This will be the first week that the kids are actually really in school. Um, are you doing anything differently or doing anything with them? No, you know I think it was really important that we started on our morning schedule last week and get them acclimated to that. So they had Monday through Friday last week where it's the exact same schedule as they're going to have this week. But it's important that they, you know, they balance and budget their time between school and football and rest and study and all the things that they've got to get done. And so I think it's important as a staff that we do a good job of helping them budget their time by not monopolizing their time. And so the reason we've got the split day the way we do with the morning workout and the afternoon or evening meetings is to give them a chunk of time in the middle where they can really focus on school. So we get them early, we get them at the end. And uh, it worked well for them last week. And, uh, if we have to make adjustments because the school will do so. With Devin going down, what kind of things are you looking for from guys like Jordan Payton and Logan Sweet? Jordan and uh, you know even Logan Sweet, Tyler Scott, and Jerry Rice Jr. Those guys have all just got you know their role is going to increase a little bit, and so they've just got to step up and, and continue to do a good job. Jerry played really well the other night. I mean, he got extended playing time and did a heck of a job. Um, Jordan Payton got extended playing time, and uh, you know he had that catch down the sideline where his foot just, you know, just a half an inch out of bounds. He could have made that play have been a really good play for him. But he's consistently getting better. So we just look for those guys to just keep improving, and we'll just keep doing what we do. What did you have to do on Jordan's level? 
saw him this morning. He looked great, um, but nothing definitive yet. Hopefully, by the end of the day or at the latest end of tomorrow, we'll know if he's going to be cleared or not. But the swelling was gone. The, the, the wound looked really good. Um, so he looked a lot better than he looked last Thursday. You know, he still has some swelling last Thursday. He looks looks really close to the facial structure looks really close to normal right now in terms of the swelling. Is he trying to put on a helmet then? I don't know that he has or not. Probably not. Probably not. When he comes back, do you expect him to go back to the outside slide? Yeah, he'll go back to outside. Uh, I teased him this morning. I said, you get healthy fast when the guy goes in your spot and gets three sacks, don't you? You know, it's just good for our team to have competition. It's great for our team to have multiple players that can do good things on the outside. You know, so Damian showing up the way he did, and we know what Jordan can do. And we know what Anthony Barr can do. The thing that's great about Damian is his versatility. You know, he easily moves between inside and outside linebacker in a game. And uh, he's very smart. He prepares very hard, so he can do bold. <coughs> We like Jordan right now more as an outside linebacker. That seems to be a better fit for him. Do you think Jamie might be better suited playing outside after this game? Well, he can do both. You know, he he uh, it's it's probably an easier adjustment for him because he was a defensive end, and so he was used to looking at the ball out of his right eye. And I know that sounds really silly, but you know, you're used to playing with the ball always on your right shoulder. And then when you get into the middle of the defense and the ball can be on either side of you and your, your scope has to be wider, it changes things for you. It's not as natural. But I think he's done a good job both inside and outside. And I love the fact that he's versatile. And, you know, when you've got guys that play as hard as Jordan plays and as hard as Damian plays and as hard as uh, Anthony Barr plays, I mean, those guys go and go and go. You need some sort of rotation there. So I think it's good that those guys can all play. Andrew Abbott seems like he's a little bit more involved uh, was that a lot of that was not him but was that scheme too was there a difference in how you used him this last week no he just he just made more plays you know we really haven't changed how we've used him other than the nebraska game where we played corner uh, but when we go to nickel you know sometimes he goes down and covers the slot because we bring around a go forth in uh, he just was active this week you know he just the, the ball came to him a lot he got to the ball a lot Like Jonathan was kind of holding his hand when he came out the field the other day. His, his hand? Yeah, his hand. Yeah, he, he gets, you know, you teach guys to tackle the ball, and they, you know, he gets hit on the hand some. He, same thing happened in Nebraska, but it's nothing. I mean, he's fine. Yeah. I don't believe that he did anything but ice it after the game. He hasn't been to treatment. It's, and he's not an injury report. He's fine. How big of a worry. It's happened a few weeks. Uh, Drop seats with the wide receivers, especially this week. If any special attention being brought to that this week in practice? You're right. We had more drops this week than we've had in game so far. We had, by our count, off the film, we had seven drops. Uh, I believe the most we had before that was five. So yeah, it's a concern. And so uh, it's like it's tricky, you know, because you don't want to put so much emphasis on it that you start spooking guys but you have to work on it. So what you'll see our guys doing, I think, is after practice, getting on the jug machine a little bit more. Uh, you'll see the coaches emphasizing, finishing, and catching it, and putting it away in all of our drills, whether it's our, our warm-up drills or team drills. You know, just a, a positive emphasis on it, rather than, you know, oh, you got to catch the ball. Just, you know, you, 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 with this age group, you got to motivate them in the right way. So we'll try to do that. Do you have any impression on Ellis on what he can do with guard those? Place. Not it's just not enough happened. Not enough happened. So uh, and we still haven't talked about what we're going to do with regard to him this week. But uh, he's just a you know Ellis is just a good football player. I think wherever you put him, whether it's offense or defense, he's going to play well. He's big and he's physical and he's very very smart and he moves well. And uh, you know I think he could be outstanding on either side of the ball. He just has the characteristics you like in a football player. How are we back this week? I don't think so, but I, I don't want to rule him out yet, but uh, I don't believe he will be. Okay, anything else? All right, thanks.